During the last 10 years, we had an enormous, enormous improvement in understanding of the biology of MPN and especially myelofibrosis. And there was one particular mutation that was of big importance for non-transplant, but also for the transplant setting. What we identified then in 2019 was the ASXL1 mutation. ASXL1 mutation is a prognostic marker for worse outcome for non-transplant, but also for transplant patients. For transplant even, there is no difference between secondary and primary myelofibrosis. All patients have worse outcome. For non-transplant patients, at the time of diagnosis, this might be a little bit different that patients, particularly with primary myelofibrosis, they have worse outcome comes with ASXL1 mutations. But the spectrum of ASXL1 mutations is huge. So you have a frame shift mutation, missense mutations, etc. And what we looked into is that because Professor Vanuki and colleagues, they um, identified a certain frame shift mutation in ASXL1 as really, really important factor for worse outcome. And we tried to identify this frame shift mutation in a large cohort of transplant patients. And what we could show is, yes, the frame shift mutation has worse outcomes than non-frame shift mutations, but still the difference between other ASXL1 mutations is not really important. So ASXL1 mutations altogether are, are bad for patients who receive transplantation. The only thing, again, um, is that these ASXL1 mutations with this specific frame shift, they have higher relapse rates. So this is another important factor that we identify now in accordance to the other abstract we have on the driver mutation clearance is that we really need to focus on relapse, to understand relapse after transplantation because we see that especially these frame shift mutations, they have higher relapse and we need to understand why.